AD Racers, uh, we want to bring to you a couple of exciting things to talk about, and we're going to be including a giveaway, so make sure to watch this whole video. But starting things off, what we want to talk about is the Sprints Cup. Uh, the Sprints Cup is the competition that we've been hosting, so this is just the first week has finished. It is a seven-week season followed with two weeks of playoffs. And so in the first week, average jockeys, and I think it was Harvey, had a successful 3-0 to zero lead. D Racers Elite and uh, Beard Bear Black Types, they both got wins with just two points, though. And then those four teams so far in the first position. Top four teams move on to the playoffs in this current season. And what we're going to be asking you guys in this Twitter poll is to pick one of the winning teams that you think is going to win uh, week two. So with that, uh, D Race is sponsoring this. They're giving us a horse in that. So you'll be seeing that Throla here is going to be a horse that's given away. Our goal, uh, thank you, D-Race, by that, by the way, our goal is to make sure that even if you do not have a horse, if you would like to get and participate in this ecosystem to compete, all you got to do is engage with that, and we'll be doing a drawing on Sunday, and we'll be giving this horse the lucky winner. Yeah, I think something that I wanted to point out with that previous score, it's kind of hard to, to see scores of three points, two points, one point, and know just how exciting some of these matchups were. Like midweek, we were we were watching races that were the tenth race uh, in the in the series of ten that they had to do the sprints, and it was some of the most exciting moments that we've had with that we've shared. Like you know, just being everywhere, uh, seeing people on Discord, hitting people up, saying, "Hey, we need to actually watch this final race." Uh, it was it was pretty exciting, and and uh, a couple of these teams snuck away with an extra point. Yeah, and a couple got flipped too. Like uh, Dgen was beating us two to one. And we barely, barely squeaked out a victory over them. It was a well-fought race. I was pinned to the monitor watching that last one from Dominance. And fortunately for us, unfortunately for them, it went favorably to us. And what I like about this event so far, it's, it, there's been upsets, which has been great. But the strategy part, inside here, for those that have not been following along, understanding how this event works, if you go to deracers.world, you'll also see that there is a Sprints Cup section with a How to Play and this is going to go over the rules. And what's neat about this is that you have a manager week followed by the racing week. And the managers of the team, they get to throw in some strategies like re-rolls, blocking horses, and then you have to set your roster. And so there's a whole entire community where the managers are trying to study their opponent to figure out what horses are best suited to challenge the others. Yeah, I was, you know, I'm the I'm the manager of the D Racers Elite team. And right now I'm I'm having to work through the the week following the one we're competing in so like already having to pick the next set of horses that we're going to be putting into the following week's competition looking at teams we're going to be playing that week the following week uh deciding whether or not to play some of these additional uh, uh bonus elements such as being able to re-roll uh, all the furlongs or to block a horse that's something that we've seen played already as well uh, mm -hmm. being able to say, I don't want to have to run against that particular horse is a pretty key management decision that has to be made. Yep. And then the other thing we've been hearing from, uh, there seems to be a lot of excitement already from the teams that are competing. There's been a few teams that are not yet in it that are interested as well. And so what we're considering is for next season, we want to create something where we would have uh, potentially divisions. So we do not know how many people might be interested in this, but if we go back to some of the teams that you've seen here, uh, Gibois, this is a brand new team. Harvey is one of the smaller teams doing great. And so there's some teams that are fully stacked, some teams that are really new, uh, but we want to make sure that everybody, even if it's just you and a buddy or a couple friends, we want to welcome you in. What's nice about having the teams in this type of structure is that if you have no good horses for the tracks that were picked, you might have a teammate that does. Or if you need to travel or have a holiday and you can't uh, commit to the com competition, maybe your teammate can. And all you have to do is you have to hit 10 races of a specific track. And so the commitment is lower, but we want to make sure that it is something that is doable and attainable for all sizes of teams. So if you have any interest in competing in a sprint coming forward, just hit us up. We got Discord, Twitter, all the contacts going to be below, probably on the screen too. Just make sure that you just message us. Let us know what you, if you're interested. And from there, it's going to help us dictate, do we want to build a, uh, a, let's say, different tables? And maybe we have relegation. So that way we have stronger teams pushed into a category to allow smaller teams to compete more fairly or equally. 
or we might have to have larger bracket systems with randomization for team pairing. A lot can be done, uh, wearables or non-wearables. There's, there's so many things that we can consider, but getting feedback from you guys would be enormous. Yeah, uh, I think it's, a, it's yeah. Uh, important that uh, you know that we're we're trying to grow this this competition. The Sprints Cup is something that is already in the works to expand. So whether we go with a vertical division set or uh, just expand out and do a couple of uh, divisions of of six teams per se, uh, perhaps, um, or like you said, if we go with wearables or non wearable divisions and things like that, there's going to be a lot of fun ways that we can adapt the Sprints Cup. Uh, but one of the things that I wanted to point out too is along with whether you're a, a team of five, 10 people with tons of horses, or you only have a couple of horses, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, like you mentioned, Harvey threw up three points with, with uh, you know, a handful of horses that he's got, and uh, they're going to walk away with the same prize as a team that has tons of people. Mm -hmm. And that, that's really important to know that we're giving away prizes every week uh to those winning teams i know you know the breakdown of that a little better than i do but the the idea is is that we pull in money from the teams to set up the sprints but we are trying to give away more than we actually even brought in yeah uh, on the prizes this season we collected 500 dirk per team so that was four thousand collected every single week we are paying out 150 dirk to the winning team so at the end of the season, we have paid out 4,200, collected only uh, the 4,000. Going into playoffs, we are going to have the four top teams compete in a traditional bracket. And then the first place team is going to walk away with 3,000 Dirk. Second place team is 1,500 Dirk. So in total, we're paying out 8,700 Dirk to the 4,000 that was collected. We are working on getting a bot finished, and it's going to hopefully be ready by the end of this year. And the proceeds of the bot, what we're hoping to do is, one, recoup our expenses for development, but we want to turn around and fund this event. So there's the goal is to pay out a lot more than what we ever collect to motivate you guys to compete and to actually win more and more. If we can make this exciting as it's been, then we might be able to attract more sponsors or sponsors outside of this space. And then, again, there's more opportunities for us to create revenue. Our goal is to then keep feeding it back so we just help this community get bigger and stronger. So the goal is, is join a team or create a team. Just get yourself more involved. If you're just playing D-Race by yourself, it's not nearly as fun as some of these community events that we're, we're, we're forming. Dirk Army has great events going as well. And with tournaments and such that are coming around the corner, there's just so many new and more exciting ways that you're going to be out there competing. Yeah, I was just going to say with invite only races, with tournaments coming up, 2023 is going to be pretty fun. Uh, so. Whether you actually, whether you can get involved with the Sprints Cup or not, go form a team, get involved mm -hmm. with Dirk Army, get involved with Sprints if you want. Um, there's a lot of different things that are going to be fun when you've got multiple stables collected together and competing. Yep. So this season, it's going to end a uh, couple of, what are we, seven weeks, eight weeks out. So in by the end of this year, 2022, the, the cup will be finished. And then most likely what we'll do is we'll talk with some of the managers, get some feedback. Hopefully you guys are hitting us up if you're expressing interest and probably early uh, 2023, we'll be kicking off the next season. So just make sure that if you see this, just message us again, or all of our contact is going to be down below in the comments. What we're just looking for is somebody that simply hits us up and says, we have a team, we'll be interested. Uh, we'll get the details out. You don't have to commit by telling us that you're interested. It just helps us figure out what to prepare for. Perfect. So yeah, go out. Form a team, let us know, and don't forget to check out Twitter.